Hey everyone, we're here at the Mei Lan Fong Memorial Hall in the heart of Beijing. This is where Peking opera superstar Mei Lan Fong lived out the last years of his life until his death in 1961. So today we're going to learn a little bit more about his life and about Peking opera and maybe even get to try on a costume or two. All right, let's go. Mei Lan Fong was renowned for his portrayal of female leads or Don characters in traditional plays. Uh, this was at a time when women were actually banned from not only acting, but also attending performances. However, even when that ban was lifted shortly after Mei took to the stage, he still got most of these roles because he was incredibly good and uh, kind of uncanny at portraying the graceful, demure, poised lady character. So this painting was uh, painted by a famous Indian artist named Nandalal Bose, and it portrays May as the Lua goddess from an opera of the same name. So right now we're learning about the different vocal sounds that a performer is supposed to make. Let's take a listen. So this is Wang Xiaoyin, and she's been working in Peking Opera for 36 years. Today she's going to be my Laosher, or Peking Opera teacher, and we're going to learn some moves. All right, let's do it. So oh, what you just saw was me attempting to do the traditional movements for a woman who's opening the door and going outside on a beautiful day. So in traditional pecking opera, um, there weren't very many props or settings on stage. So essentially the costumes are used to tell a lot about the story. Uh, face paint was another big part of conveying who a character was and what their role is. Um, now, actually, all of these that we're looking at were hand-painted by Mei Lan Fong as a way to introduce the art form of Peking opera to a Western audience. So I just learned some moves with the Monkey King. Uh, the Monkey King is another traditional pecking opera uh, that focuses on a character called uh, Sun Wukong. So this is his staff and I just learned one of the moves. By my amazing performance, you can tell it's all in the wrist. So you start like this and then you just kind of bring it here while at the same time letting this fall to the back and then you flip it back around and you're supposed to end right there again. So if an audience at a Peking opera saw me walk out on this stage wearing this, then they would know that I was about to marry the king's daughter. Actually, this would be my wife, as you can tell from her dress. Well, I had an amazing day learning all about Peking opera and sharing what I learned with you. I hope one day you get to visit Beijing and go to a Peking opera yourself. Who knows? Maybe you'll see a player who studied it in the Mei Lan Fong School. Zai Jian! Hai Ni Sun Zhi Ji, Tian Ya Ru Bi Lin, Zai Jian Chang Yu Beijing, Zai Jian Le Xiong Fei Yi.